Many years ago, the FDA asked for more information about what happens when a type of chemical called phthalates gets into your body through the food that you eat. Some of that research is being done right here in Washington, showing how dangerous this type of chemical can be for babies before they're even born. I spoke to one of the researchers at the University of Washington about their findings. Regulating these phthalates has been an ongoing kind of effort by the FDA. Phthalates are a type of chemical commonly found in plastic, and we're learning more about what happens if they leach from the plastic into your food. Exposures to phthalates during pregnancy are well known to be linked with numerous poor health outcomes in the child. Um, these include preterm birth, disrupted child reproductive development, and a lower IQ. Researchers at the University of Washington found that expectant moms who ate more fast food or ultra-processed food that's designed to be able to sit on the shelf for a long time had higher exposure to these potentially dangerous chemicals. And many phthalates are still approved for use in food contact applications. Um, one example is PVC or vinyl gloves used in the food industry. Um, handling foods while wearing these gloves can result in phthalates absorbing into the foods. Surprisingly, some of these gloves are upwards of 30 to 40 percent by weight of the chemicals. So these are additives to the plastic. But in some cases, like with the gloves, it makes up a large proportion of the actual material of the glove. Researchers say this is another reason to try and make sure you're eating mostly fresh, minimally processed foods like fruits and vegetables and whole grains. But ultimately, the government needs to step in to make sure that food sold in the United States is safe. Really, the burden of reducing these chemical exposures should not be on the consumers or on pregnant people. It would be much better if we had policy or regulations that could keep these chemicals um, out of our food. Now, there are efforts underway to reduce phthalate co contamination in foods, both from individual companies and from government regulators. But the problem here is that we also have to make sure they're not replacing those chemicals with something just as bad or even worse.